Hello everyone, today we're gonna do some summons and we're gonna test some uh, interesting uh, strategies in the um, killed boss. Uh, it's called the escape trick that's go that has been discovered by the community, so strap on because this is going to be rather cool. So, let's start off with the summons. Uh, ever since uh, I pulled for headset and I actually color, I managed to actually gather up some more uh, resources for summoning. And since this is an amazing banner and I could use uh, I could use Artemis as well, I really want to pull. Um, and then we're gonna switch it up back to the killed boss and do the escape trick. And I'm gonna explain it to you guys in case you haven't heard about it already. So let me just quickly gather up some uh, rewards over here and um, then maybe go into the guild because I think I can complete the promotion rate three times. Actually let's go to the promotion rate three times because uh, that's going to provide me with some extra summons. So the auto fights for the promotion rate has been completed. Let's complete the quest as well so we complete the weekly and we go towards the weekly we get the extra summoning shard and let's go so I am about 93 or 95 uh, summons into PT and until uh, since my last legendary so that was headset um, I also have one divine we are 15 summons into the divines so we might actually get a, uh, another legendary here so uh, let's just get started right Unfortunately, our 16th is not going to be a divine, uh, a legendary, but uh, it is what it is. And let's go back to the hats of banner. So, let's get started. This is going to be an epic. I'm, I'm hoping for an Artemis or another hats of who knows, even though hats of dupes aren't that great, but uh, I'm really hoping for an Artemis. Uh, I don't think I created the video, but uh, after I got headset, I pulled for around 30 more times and I got a crush. I mean, it's it was 30 summons into, into PT, so I can't complain, but it's still a very, very bad legendary. Okay, so we've done 30 pulls, that would make uh, 123 summons into PT. Greed, nice. Uh, let's gather the rewards. Let's summon two more times just because I don't want to see those there So that's going to be 125 right yes, and now the diamonds 135 In case I don't get a legendary it is what it is at least I'm getting myself closer to PT for the next panel or whatever is going to be. I'm really ex uh, excited for um, for the Valderon Ancient Summoning uh, event. It's going to come up. I don't know when it's going to come up, but I figure it's uh, going to be rather soon. I think one month at least, uh, at most, I think. So that's going to be quite, quite uh, good. I have 104 or 105 Ancient Summoning Crystals. And I think I'll gather some more up until then. And so I've gathered, gathered up quite the the collection. What's up with the scorches? A lot of scorches in this uh, in these sessions. Okay, can I get some uh, some more diamonds so I can do one more temple? Yeah, of course we can. Let's go. What do you think, guys? Is this going to be it? Let's see. And let's go. No, it's not it. <laughs> so it's about 160 something summons into PT. So I'm fairly close to PT right now. Barely. Uh, so let's go to the Guild War. So the Guild War, not Guild War, sorry, the Guild Boss. So the Guild Boss goes something like this. So my layout is going to be Valyria uh, with Toridor as a, as a Nightmare Faction Lord. Valyria, um, uh, Lust, Arrogance, Dolores. I don't have an Raka, so I'm using Lunaria with uh, Silas, Hex, uh, Hollow, and 
um, Laurel. So Toreador is in an invigoration set as you probably already heard. Uh, nothing too crazy, but uh, it's not bad either. Then uh, Lust is in a mediocre set I would say. Uh, she's an Infernal Roar full set. She's crit capped with uh, plus 163 crit damage. Uh, in my opinion, too little attack speed, but it is what it is. Uh, probably this is why she's supposed she's shown to be only at 17 uh, kbp. Um, then Valyria, Valyria is uh, in um, in a wisdom set, in wisdom set. Uh, I she was in uh, Soulbound Arcana, but I gave it to Miss Hatset, and I think this set is also quite decent. Um, with two ancient pieces over here, she is. Uh, having quite some decent stats, like uh, almost 200 plus crit damage. Uh, and quite a bit of attack speed, not too much, but at least it's, at least it's more than 30, right? Um, then uh, we have uh, Mr. Arrogance, again, nothing too crazy here either. He has, he is in a Soulbound Arcana set, um, crit capped, he has a lot of attack, an extra attack, uh, plus 13.8k. Um, has quite a little bit of attack speed bonus and he's almost crit capped, I don't really need to be crit capped at this point. He has too little crit damage in my opinion, but it works so far with the gear I have. Um, and Dolores is an invigoration set as well. I focused my Dolores uh, to have as much extra attack uh, as possible. She's currently at... Um, 12.3k almost so that's in the optimal range if you don't know she is going to provide an optimal amount of extra attack to the surrounded surrounding um, heroes at around 12 plus k attack so Luneria also in an invigoration set basically she's just a filler hero that's supposed to improve somebody in the team Silas he is in an infernal roar set of course has almost plus 200 attack speed, almost crit capped, but uh, not quite there. This set is not optimal yet. Um, a little bit more crit damage, and his attack is decently, uh, dec decently um, in addition. Then Hex. Hex is my uh, most is my highest BP. He's in a broken set. He has plus 215 attack speed, as you can see here, crit capped, a little bit of crit damage, nothing too crazy over here, but it gets the job done. Hex is very good in, uh, in guild boss. Hollow, invigoration set as well, attack, attack focused, but also attack speed focused, as attack speed is very important in this fight. And Laurel as well, in an invigoration set, she is nothing but a filler hero and supposed to regen my uh, team. So, let's start the playtest as I mentioned earlier. I'm going to first show you the order and then show you the trick. So and also try to optimize it as best I can so I see so I can actually see if I can go further than I was already going. So uh, as I said, Valyria first, immigration on Valyria, then uh, we pick up Toridor, we place down um, Arrogance, we give invigoration to Arrogance with Dolores, we place down Lust. Invigoration to last from Miss Hollow. Then we place Silas. Actually, I'm gonna place Hex. Invigoration from Miss Laurel and then Silas over here. And after we pick Laurel up, we are going to, as you can see, after we pick Laurel up, uh, we're going to you give Invigoration to Silas from Lunaria. So this is the order. But uh, the actual activation of each ult is going to be a little bit different. So let's restart and do actually the trick as well. So um, let me actually show you what I do before using the trick with the ults. So it's going to be a little bit tricky with, uh, with Valyria, but uh, it's going to work nonetheless. Valyria, Torridor. Uh, plus to arrogance, last works anyway. Last, then arrogance, then hollow, then X, then Laurel, then Silas, 
actually the test was bad because now Silas doesn't receive when he has buff when I place her. Sorry about that. Mistakes can happen and will happen, but it's part of the game, right? So, Toridor, pick Toridor up. Us. Hollow Laurel Silas and I'm gonna let Valyria hit get hit by this and I'm gonna let Miss uh, Hollow over here heal her a little bit and now I'm gonna use the ult hopefully that's that's right so we also use lust we also use hex we also use Hollow, Silas, and now we are gonna use Dolores. As soon as she pops up, we pick up Miss Laurel, we put down Miss Lunaria to give the Invigoration bonus, and she's not dead, Valir is not dead, which is very, very important, and that's going to be the basic rotation. So let's see how much damage we deal without the trick, and how much damage we're gonna deal with the trick. So. Activate, activate. Now we're gonna activate Valyria as soon as she pops because she's not gonna get hit until the dragon is promoted, anyways. So activate her, activate Hex. One Hex, there you go. Let's speed this up a little bit. And. There you go, Valyria has ultimate finish right before the dragon is game, going to be promoted and deal some damage again. Then we're gonna wait for Hollow. In case you don't know, we activate Hollow even though it's not actually... Um, even though the ultimates are being used, like Hex is right now, just because Hollow regens uh, the actual energy even though the ultimate is being used, so that's useful. Um, as soon as we pop the ults like Hollow and this one, we're gonna wait for Silas and Dolores, and then we're gonna pick up Lunaria, put down Laurel, pick Laurel up, and put down Toridor. We're not activating Valyria yet, we are waiting until the next uh, Meteor, because sh at this point she is going to die if we activate her early, too early. And now the next Meteor is going to come up, there we go, we are activating Hollow again, we are activating Dolores, we are activating Lost, soon we are gonna activate Silas. We activate Mr. Toreador just for the extra defense reduction because he's not gonna do deal much damage either way. He's just a healer. So we don't activate Valyria just yet. We're gonna activate Hex and Lust. We're gonna wait for each ultimate. And then we're gonna pick up Toreador and Place down Laurel again, so we regen. Now we pick put down Lunaria back. Okay, we activate Hollow. I'm 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 verbalizing as I go because maybe you can follow through my voice while doing it yourself. So that can maybe be helpful. Activate everyone as soon as they come up. We activate Valyria, maybe a little bit too late there. I didn't keep track of everything, every... Um, if it was the first or the second meteorite. But we're still gonna go through the shield pretty easily. Don't forget about Hollow as soon as, she, as, soon as she's ready. And then Dolores as soon as she's ready. So 
we could have waited a little bit on the Dolores because right now she buffs only X. But we are gonna have Miss Laurel up soon. Which is. We're gonna wait for um, Silas and we're gonna activate Valyria only on around 35 seconds. That's going to be the timing. So X. Valeria right now and this is just cruising until the end oh actually we've done quite more than I expected maybe because I've improved my gears with the event okay so 38k now quite quite nice I like it who died oh Lunaria no Valeria died yeah whatever it wasn't going to do much damage either way the last few seconds Wow, so almost 40k. I'm quite impressed. Okay, so let's see how we are doing with the actual... Yeah, sure, why not? Let's see how we are doing with the actual streak. So, Lust did the most damage, then Hex, then Arrogance, then Valyria, then Silas. Silas, surprisingly low, but probably because we've given him the Lunaria Invigoration a little bit later. Probably this can be optimized, like maybe if I switch the order around a little bit, but so far it's alright. So, let's play test it again with the escape trick. The escape trick is going to look something like this. You place down the, um, the hero, as soon as you place it down, you escape and then hover around the next hero that you want to place. Place it down, escape and so on and so forth. You're supposed to use the escape button in such a way that it makes it... Um, Okay, it makes it very smooth when you auto fight it. So let's start and skip. So we place down Valeria first. Valeria, Valeria, where you are? Valeria, bam, bam, escape. And now we have our, we want to place Toridor first down, right? So Toridor, bam, escape. He's gonna be placed down as soon as he placed down, bam, click on it, escape. Now, uh, you saw that I pressed on the pickup button. Uh, because we placed down Toridor only for the Invigoration buff, now we know we're gonna place Lust. So, escape, Lust, place down, now we know we're gonna place Dolores. Now we know we're gonna place Arrogance. Now we know we're gonna place Hollow. Now we know we're gonna place Hex, right? And we're putting it there. Now Laurel. For the invigoration buff. Oh, I messed it up a little bit. Now Silas. Wait for Valeria to get a little bit of healing. Now we use the ults. Might have been a little bit wrong with the Valeria timing, but it's fine I guess. Now we need to Silas and go. Almost died there, Olivia, but it's fine. So this was supposed to be weaker, right? Let's see, it actually shows on the damage meters, right? It's done. So almost, I think, how much is it? I think only 1k difference, not even that right but then again i'm not the highest end of accounts and my account is not the most high end right and to be completely honest uh there is the rng again so this type of run um a little bit more carefully done and more optimized can lead to more over 40k i believe so um for the sake of not making the video too long i'm not gonna try again but uh, I think you get the gist of it because this was the, the reason the point so again just the only thing I'm gonna do one more time is actually show you how to do the trick because some people have seen even thousands upon thousands of uh, extra blood collected using this method so you place down a hero you escape you hover over the next hero with your mouse you hit escape you click on the hero you place it down you hit escape, you click on it, you click on the button to 
take it out he escaped hover after the next one it's gonna be last last uh, since Toridor is going to be on the bench now uh, being resurrected because I picked him up everyone is going to be slightly more to the left one more um, square to the left so we are hover over arrogance because we want to put down last right so we take escape we take down last we place it down we hit escape now we know we're gonna hit put down Dolores Dolores is going to be a little bit to the right because we put down last so we hover over Luneria so Dolores we place it down it actually you see it didn't even register on the screen but actually it we it registered registered in the back end so actually Dolores is going to be placed down right now so the next one is going to be arrogance see Dolores placed down not even placed down and I'm putting down arrogance now hollow now hex now laurel now Silas and this is going to be it right and if we actually look on the replay this is going to be very 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 fast let's see if how fast we did the last run the auto fight one i don't think i can see actually the auto fight because i completed the the guild boss run today but if you actually want if you actually do this trick and you run it um, and you get the new auto fight and you actually use the auto fight that you saved while doing this trick you're gonna see that all heroes that you're gonna place down are actually placed down in almost instantaneously like there is no almost no delay between them so this is a very 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 nice trick um i'm also very much into pt so i'll probably summon some more but i'll have it i'll have a really hard time not to summon on my own without actually recording but i think i'll restrain myself if i will do some more summons just for you guys so you can actually see um and yeah this has been the video i hope it is was helpful if you have any more questions or any more inquiries make sure to let me know uh, leave a comment below without with anything just interact with me guys i like seeing you guys and talking with you i respond to every single comment that i see uh, don't forget to like to subscribe um, this has been andy event horizon gaming see you guys